What's going on guys? Welcome to the Two Wheeled Rider YouTube channel. My name is Mario Orsini and in today's video we are going to unbox, assemble, install, and then we'll probably fast forward a few days and review uh, this product from Bolted On. Really, really cool piece that's going to go in my toy hauler. All right, just so you guys know, this is not a paid product placement. I actually bought this full price. I have exchanged some emails with Scott and I told him my plans. I was probably gonna make a video about it and definitely send him some photos over and those sorts of things. So anyway, I'm looking forward to installing this in my toy hauler. We've been looking for a good bike tie down solution. I played around with some other ideas, but this really just seemed like the best idea. And uh, I won't have to put them up in the uh, back of the truck anymore. And they're just gonna be much, much safer. So uh, let's get to opening this stuff. You'll have to excuse the mess. Uh, we're racing on Saturday and we're doing a top end rebuild and I'm just waiting on parts and stuff to come in. Anyway, so over here, this is what you get. You can see I already cracked this box open. Uh, this piece came a day later, uh, not the company's fault. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday by UPS and just didn't arrive for whatever reason. That is the bar and that is available in a few different lengths. I did some measuring in my toy hauler. This should be the right length. So let's get that open and then see what's inside the box. I'll tell you what, if the product is half as good as the packing job, this is going to be awesome. I think we're finally in. All right, there's one of the hooks. Hook number two. So for the three bike option, you have this longer wheel chuck here, so it'll offset the bike, so you can put three across without the handlebars touching, uh, and gives you plenty of space. Wheel chuck number two, wheel chuck number three. Nice logo placement. Oh wow, that's even coated with rubber on the bottom, nice. And then last but not least, in, uh, inside the box, uh, thank you, Scott, bolt it on. I'm going to guess this is probably the invoice. Actually, no, it's not the invoice. It's some instructions. Also have a uh, bolt it on sticker, so nice touch. This is hand signed. These instructions should be easy enough to follow. So uh, let's head out to the toy hauler and start installing this thing. Alright, so before I walked out here, I went ahead and slid a couple of wheel chocks and the tie downs on here. They all operate, they got these spring loaded pins that just slide into place. I'm just going to set this bar down in here. I'll be back with the rest of the parts. Now because uh, we're only hauling two dirt bikes this weekend, you notice I don't have the offset wheel chock. I'm not going to need it. I'm just going to need these two stands. And uh, these two J-hooks. Now it's going to be hard to film, but I'm just going to kind of put this bar across this area here to see what holes are closest to the, uh, the D-rings on each side. And those are the ones I'm going to put the, uh, the J-hooks through. All right, so before I actually put the J-hooks on, I went ahead and put the end supports on. Now I'm going to step them in a little bit because I kind of want them as close to the D-rings as possible. And then we'll get the J-hooks set up. This is the... Take the washer and the lock nut. I'm not going to tighten that up too much because I'm going to need a little bit of play on the other side to get that one in. Same deal, washer, lock nut. Tell you what, this bad boy is sturdy. All right, so that's what it looks like installed. Now, if you're wondering why I put it at the back of the toy hauler versus up toward the front, it's because I did some measuring and my dirt bike is a little too long, at least I think it is according to my measurements, to fit in here straight. Now, what's cool about this is now that we have the feet set up on it, really all we have to do is uh, whenever we want to take it out, 
and turn this into uh, camper mode is just take the uh, two lock nuts off the uh, J nuts there take about 30 seconds to a minute and and we can pull this whole bar out what's cool is is the adjustability we have all these different holes drilled in throughout here for different bike configurations so if we want to move this over just pops right into place same thing with the tie down straps if you had a larger trailer where you're going to put this in the middle you could obviously mount wheel chocks on both sides so you could pipe park uh, or uh, strap down bikes on both sides of it really really cool device um, we're not going to test it out tonight we will uh, come back in about two nights and uh, get the bike set up in here So we're up here in New Jersey. We've got the bikes tied down in the back. We just drove a little over 200 miles to get here. Let's see how the bolted on setup did. Bikes are still standing. What do you think? It's a oh, really nice setup. We have All right. a lot of room. Huh? We have a lot of room. Yeah, we do have a lot of room. All right, let's get uh, let's get everything unloaded here. Anyway, next thing we're gonna unstrap both the bikes. Just kind of lean them up so we can get this bar out. So now we need to loosen these up on both sides. I said loosen, I'm gonna take them all the way out. all right so now that i've got to use the bolted on tie down system in my toy hauler for the weekend what do i think i think it's a great product i'm glad i got it uh, it's definitely got some major positives number one the adjustability all you really have to do is measure for the uh, width bar you need and there's all sorts of adjustability there uh, it's also totally customizable depending on whether you're hauling dirt bikes, street bikes, adventure bikes, whatever the case may be. And it's quality built. Uh, it's a really cool product. It only takes like a minute or two to take in and out once you have it set up uh, width wise and how you're going to configure it. Uh, really like it. Uh, if there is one negative, it's probably the cost. It, mine came in with the three bike setup right around 500 bucks, which is not cheap. But if you're going to use it and you're going to use it often, it's probably money well spent. Again, I'm going to link them down in the description below. I have no affiliation with the company, but if you're looking for some sort of a motorcycle tie-down solution, be it for an enclosed trailer or a moto van or a toy haul or whatever the case may be, it's definitely something worth looking into. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about the bolted on setup, I'll do my best to answer them down in the comments section below. But uh, I gotta go work on my bike now because I had a DNF today and I'm not happy. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.